گر جہنم ساختم فردوس ہم میں سازمان گر جہنم ساختم فردوس ہم میں سازمان ای وطن میں سازمان آخر خودم میں سازمان ای وطن میں سازمان آخر خودم میں سازمان گر جہنم ساختم A top story, election day in Afghanistan. Many people there saying that they want their vote to bring clinics, schools and fresh water. Unlike much of southern and eastern Afghanistan, central Bamiyan province is one of the safest parts of the country. We'll go to Ivan Watson shortly. He's going to join us in a few moments. But first, let's move to London and to the Afghan community here who are outside their home country. Many Afghani people want to tell you and me what they think about about the elections without the fear of bombs or bullets, especially women. A London-based film director is making it happen. I would just like you to accept me as an Afghan. A hooded presidential candidate kicking off his bid for the leadership of Afghanistan from London. Sound unreal? That's because it is. The candidate is a made-for-TV movie shot on a shoestring budget around Britain's capital. So why here? Well, basically, it was the best opportunity to uh, voice what the Afghan wants inside or outside Afghanistan. Shapur Amini is the movie's Afghan-born director. They don't have the same threat and fear that uh, Afghans have inside the country. Uh, from the warlords or other political groups or from the opposition uh, parties to the government. So they can talk and challenge any issues that uh, are in Afghanistan and they can openly talk about the things that most of the candidates cannot talk in Afghanistan. The film's part fiction, part documentary. The candidate himself is an actor reading from a script, but the ordinary people he meets on the campaign trail are just that. Real people voicing real opinions. Opinions that may be too dangerous to express back in Afghanistan. Well, basically uh, uh, voices the uh, woman's view in London and also uh, talks about the role of Afghan women in Afghanistan, that how important it is for them to take uh, part in political, economical and social life in Afghanistan and not only uh, let the men run again the whole affair. The candidate cost just $2,000 to make. Most of that spent on food for Amini's volunteer actors and extras. Amini isn't just the film's director, he's also the writer, cameraman, lighting technician and editor all rolled into one. 